So I am on Vector Studio. So now let's select the Shape Tool, left click, and then select the Ellipse Tool. And now I'm going to create my circle. So here it is, now I'm going to remove the fill. So left click here, and then click on this icon. And now I'm going to add a one point stroke, so double click here, and then type one, and then press enter. And now let's select the move tool, and now if I left click, so here it is. And now let's select the circle, Control J to duplicate the circle. And now hold shift key down, and then move it down in a straight line. So here it is, and now let's select the pen tool, so left click here. So now make sure the snapping here is checked if I left click here. So here are the features I checked. So now I'm going to position my cursor here in the middle here of the second circle. And now I will go down on a straight line and then left click here. And now just make sure here to keep in a straight line as you can see it snaps. And then left click. So now if I select the move tool and left click outside. So here it is our line here if I left click on it. It is a one point stroke just as the circles here. So now let's duplicate our line control J. And now hold shift key down and then move it to the right until it snaps here so here it is and now i'm going to select everything so i'm going to move it here like this and now let's select the shape builder tool left click select shape builder the action is to create a new shape from selected areas it is in the plus icon drag method is freehand clean up none i check the use style from last selected areas so now i'm going to combine these two shapes here just left click and then drag so here it is and now let's change the action here to the minus icon here to delete the selected areas from the object i'm going to drag over these areas here i'm going to delete them i'm going to delete these lines and then i'm going to delete these lines here and then do it again and then i'm going to do it so here it is now we have this shape here so now let's select the move tool so if i left click so here it is so now i'm going to select all the layers here and now i'm going to center it so here it is and now as you can see we have selected both layers here so Control j to duplicate them both and now make sure you're on the move tool right click select transform and then select flip horizontal and then right click transform flip vertical and now i'm just going to move it here to the side and then as you can see here it snaps so here it is and now i'm going to select all layers here Let's select the shape builder tool, left click, select shape builder. Let's change the action here to create new shape from selected areas. Check the plus here. So I kept the other settings as they were. And now I'm just going to drag over this area and this area. So here it is. And now let's select the move tool. And now as you can see all the shapes here are selected. Control J to duplicate them. And now hold shift key down and then move your duplicates down until they snap here. So here it is and now Control J. So now as you can see it created our shape exactly where we want. So this is because of the affinity part duplicate feature. So now I'm going to select everything. So I'm just going to select them all. And now let's go back to the shape builder tool again. Left click select shape builder. Make sure the action here is in the plus to create a new shape. And now I'm just going to combine these here like this. So now let's select the move tool. And now I'm going to add a gradient. So let's select the fill tool. Left click on the fill tool. Select fill tool. Make sure the context is filled, change the type to linear and now let's add our gradient. So I'm going to left click here, I'm going to choose for example an orange color and then I'm going to left click here or this one. Let's say I'm going to change it to yellow and now I'm going to left click outside and now I'm going to select these areas here. I'm going to left click on this one, hold shift key down and then select the other areas. I'm going to select this one again, hold shift key down and then left click on it and then left click on this one too. So here it is and now let's select the fill tool again, left click on the fill tool, select fill tool. And now I'm just going to reverse this gradient since we selected this one, this one and this one and this one. So click on this icon here to reverse it. So here it is. So you can still for example left click on this one here on this area and then for example choose a dark color. So let's say I will change it to a dark orange color and now let's select the move tool. I'm going to select everything. I'm going to remove the outlines here so click on group. And then left click here and now for example you can change the outline i'm going to remove it and then if i left click i'm just going to fill the gaps here so i'm just going to select everything left click here on the contour tool i'm going to add the one pixel contour radius double click here and then type one press enter so here it is and now let's select the move tool and now i'm just going to select everything i'm just going to rotate it 